the, the simple principle is uh, begin with the end in mind, but don't start with the end. So I, I think this is hugely important that when you start a new group of people together, a new church plant, you, you, you do have to have some conclusions about how you will manage yourselves, how you'll make decisions. That's what governance is all about, is how we'll uh, agree to things together so that as a group we can move forward. And that's critical just because if you don't have that in place, uh, pressures and circumstances will force processes on you that you may not want. So you've got to have thought about what you want them to be. So for instance, um, if you've not thought about how we're going to make decisions in this place and you gather a group who are more um, uh, democratically minded, more perhaps Baptist or brethren, then congregational government will be the pressure upon you. And if you've not actually worked out what you want it to be and different to that, you'll be in all sorts of trouble. Um, and, or uh, you as a strong personality as a leader might default simply to autocracy, an autocratic governance structure. And is that what you want? Is that what's best? You need to think through what's the end that I want this church to have as in terms of its management, leadership, decision-making processes so that we can intentionally, proactively move towards there. That's important so that you don't get um, default things happen. It's important too so that as new people join you, they know what they're joining and how this will work and whether they want to be in that or not. Um, do they want to be joining a church that's got a benevolent dictator or just a dictator? Um, and, or do they want to join a, a kind of congregation? What is that? Um, so you need to make those decisions for new people who come in as well. Uh, and I think just for good order. Um, you know, for me, it's important that we know together how we function so that there's health in the way we operate. Um, but you begin, you begin with the end in mind, but don't begin with the end. And that's to say, in a church plant, you're forming your culture and often starting with new people. So we started with people who were lots of wonderful people who weren't aligned theologically. Many weren't converted and certainly didn't have a shared vision about what church should be. And so to too quickly move them into leadership decision-making roles, uh, which was where I wanted to end, but to do that too quickly uh, would have derailed the church. And I, we've seen this actually in the Geneva network over the years that um, some guys who have planted churches with a conviction about eldership governance, uh, either a Presbyterian or a more Baptist kind of style eldership governance, have begun with that end too quickly and have put in place young men as elders who weren't aligned, who weren't mature, um, who needed to be stepped down after three or four years. Uh, in our context here, it took us, I think, uh, 12 to 15 years before there was sufficient shared vision and alignment together over what we were that a real, a very genuine uh, giving over of authority to others could operate. And I'm heartened in hearing someone like a John Piper actually talk in a similar vein. A few years ago, he mentioned that Though he's committed to an eldership governance model, he, he believed it took 10 years in their context before they were willing to give over eldership to the people within the church. Now, that's interesting. Um, I think in the Australian scene and setting, it's a longer process because we're, we're operating with men and women who are further back. And so getting alignment with them takes a great deal longer. If you operate within a denominational church plant structure, um, I would be looking to see the denominational structure providing some larger oversight of you as a person. It's not possible to get that in place within the congregational setting, typically for some years, but I would be looking to get some uh, leadership, governance, eldership over you from the denominational setting. And most of our denominations in Geneva function like that. In the independent world, which is the world I operate in, we always encourage church plants to begin with what we called a board of reference. Where So we now, when we began, I invited half a dozen men to meet with me monthly and provide accountability, 
um, authority together with so that I wasn't uh, running off on my own and was freed from having to set up that structure within the church too early. So the church itself was comforted knowing that was in place uh, and it did take the pressure off them feeling the need to make sure I was contained uh, because they were confident there are other structures in place that facilitated that, containing me, yeah. Thank you.